हेलो फ्रेंड्स फर्स्टली वेलकम इन एम एस सी सेकंड ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री क्लास दिस इज ए चॉइस बेस्ड क्रेडिट सिस्टम सिलेबस 2019 पैटर्न इट इज इंप्लीमेंटेड फ्रॉम दिस एकेडमिक ईयर 2020-21 टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अ सिमेट्रिक सिंथेसिस दैट इज सेक्शन सेकंड माय सेल्फ पंकज नाईकवाडी असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री अगस्ती आर्ट्स कॉमर्स एंड दादासाहेब पौते सायन्स कॉलेज अकोले सेक्शन सेकंड दॅट इज असिमेट्रिक सिंथेसिस हॅविंग ए सिक्स चॅप्टर नंबर वन इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ असिमेट्रिक सिंथेसिस इन कायरल पूल अँड कायरल ऑक्झिलरी वी डिस्कस फर्स्ट डेफिनेशन ऑफ असिमेट्रिक सिंथेसिस द रोल ऑफ असिमेट्रिक सिंथेसिस basic concepts of asymmetric synthesis then chiral pool and chiral auxiliary what is the role of chiral auxiliary and definition of the chiral auxiliary and its application now number 2 asymmetric organocatalysis a different types of organocatalysis is used in asymmetric synthesis that part discussed in asymmetric organocatalysis number 3 asymmetric aldol reaction we know the aldol reaction but here asymmetric aldol reaction now then enantio selective di stereo selective and double di stereo selective aldol reaction now then number 4 a transition metal catalyzed homogeneous asymmetric hydrogenation then number 5 transition metal catalyzed homogeneous asymmetric hydroxylation and epoxidation and number last asymmetric phase transfer and ion pair catalysis this is overall about the asymmetric synthesis that means this is a total syllabus of the asymmetric synthesis six chapter we discuss one by one first definition of asymmetric synthesis synthesis in which formation of asymmetric compound is called as asymmetric synthesis we will define the asymmetric synthesis synthesis in which formation of asymmetric compound is called as asymmetric synthesis then the question is that what is meant by the asymmetric compound the asymmetric compound is also called as optically active or chiral compound optically active or the chiral compound then what is the meaning of the asymmetric compound or what about the asymmetric compound in case of asymmetric compound it does not possessing any type of symmetry and second thing is that it shows mirror images but non support imposable called as in anisomer people going to start a detail in asymmetric synthesis firstly focus on the basic concept because this is the most important while we study the asymmetric synthesis in which number 1 the racemic mixture is optically inactive and why this is optically inactive the racemic mixture is optically inactive because mixture containing equal amount of enantiomer mixture containing equal amount of the enantiomer here a simple example this is a ketone and it is a prochiral and this on treatment with the reducing agent that is nabh4 or lilh4 and you know that the ketone it will be converted into secondary alcohol and here this final product is chiral but racemic we get the racemic mixture therefore racemic mixture is optically inactive because mixture containing equal amount of the enantiomer here we get the equal amount of the enantiomer therefore the racemic mixture is optically inactive now the next the difference between di stereomer and the enantiomers difference between the di stereomers and the enantiomers in di stereomers and enantiomers we have to remember that in di stereomer the isomer which are not mirror images to each other then it is called as the di stereomer and in case of the enantiomer the non superimposable mirror images to each other 
then it is called as the enantiomer. Here a simple example of a diastereomer here these two compounds they are not mirror images to each other it is example of the diastereomer and in case of the enantiomer here they are the mirror images of each other here I have mentioned here mirror they are mirror images of each other therefore it is an example of the enantiomer the next difference in diastereomer and the enantiomer in diastereomer all configuration of chiral carbon are not inverted in diastereomer all configuration of chiral carbon are not inverted okay we have to remember that the all configurations of chiral carbon are not inverted consider the configuration of the one diastereomers uh, are rr uh, then other diastereomers may be r s or the s r that means the one configuration is remain as it is that means r r and other having the r s or the s r but in case of the enantiomer in enantiomer all configuration of chiral carbon are inverted are inverted that means the here the r r it will be converted into the s s r r it will be converted into the s s or the s s it will be converted into the r r that means the enantiomers and here uh, if only one configuration is changed in diastereomer then they are called as the epimer they are called as the epimer now then second difference in enantiomer and the diastereomer in enantiomer the physical and chemical properties of enantiomer are except the uh, rotation of flame polarized light and behavior of environments are difference in chiral environment here examples are given r limonin and s limonin and also the s plus carone and r minus carone their smells are also given and in case of diastereomer the physical and chemical properties of diastereomer are difference while the physical constant solubility energy of activation rate of reaction it is the this is about the enantiomers and the diastereomers now then next point number third uh, the behavior of enantiomers are a difference in chiral environment why the uh, the behavior of enantiomers are different in chiral environment because uh, it form the diastereomer or the diastereomeric phase with chiral environment with chiral environment and here the energy of activations are different the energy of activations here i have mentioned the energy of activations are this is a graph of energy of activation and here energy of activations of the diastereomers here are given and they are the energy of activations are different reactivity and the rate of reaction here the enantiomeric products in unequal amount that means this ketone here nucleophilic attack on this carbonyl carbon we get the two different product that means from here right hand side and here left hand side here the enantiomeric products are produced in unequal amounts and here the diastereomeric uh, transition states are given here nucleophilic attack on the ketone in chiral environment we get the formation of these two product okay now the next uh, number fourth uh, how to obtain the optical active compound the next question is that how to obtain the optical active compound uh, for optical active compound if reactant then reagent catalyst and solvents are optically inactive then the formation of product will be always optically inactive we have to remember that if reactant reagent catalyst and the solvents are optically inactive then the formation of product will be always optically inactive here the simple reaction this is the ketone here ketone um, formation of two different products that is from your right hand side and the left hand side the enantiomeric products 
produce in exactly equal amounts and here the transition state series having equal here both the transition state rate of activation here same here nucleophilic attack on ketone in a chiral environment okay then the next question is that but during reaction if either any one of any one of that means reactant reagent catalyst or solvent are optically active are optically active then formation of product will be always optically active that is asymmetric we have to remember that this is the most important during reaction if either any one of reactant reagent catalyst or the solvent are optically active then formation of product will be always optically active such a synthesis it is called as asymmetric synthesis and why this happen because reaction take place because reaction take place through a diastereomeric phase or the transition state generally it is called as enantio selective reaction because formation of one enantiomer over the other formation of one enantiomer over the other how will you define the term enantiomeric excess or if uh, in exam the question asks define the asymmetric synthesis during the reaction if either any one of reactant reagent catalyst and solvent are optically active then formation of product will always optically active such a synthesis it is called as asymmetric synthesis and this is happen due to because reaction take place through diastereomeric phase or the transition state and it is called as enantio selective reaction because formation of one enantiomer over the other and it is expressed as in terms of enantiomeric excess that is ee enantiomeric excess or ee is defined as excess of one enantiomer over the other it is expressed as percentage of the whole and enantiomeric excess or ee is equal to major minus minor divided by major plus minus minor into 100 here the examples are given here the starting material here the 98 s to 2 here the mixture of diastereomer and this is uh, this part is actually the chiral auxiliary uh, this l i o b n the OBN it will be attack on this uh, carbonyl carbon and departure of this chiral auxiliary here the byproduct here the uh, this is the um, chiral auxiliary it can be used uh, it can be recyclized in next reaction uh, that part discuss in uh, next lecture here this is a product this is the uh, we get the 98 as to the mixture of enantiomer mixture of enantiomer here uh, here the stereochemistry that means this is 98 percent this is first product and two percent in two percent uh, two percent the stereochemistry of this group is backside that means 98 as to to the mixture of enantiomer and here the enantiomeric excess is 96 percent how this 96 percent the enantiomeric excess is calculated by a simple formula that means percent enantiomeric excess ee is equal to major minus minor divided by major plus minor into 100 here 98 minus 2 divided by 98 plus 2 that means 100 here 100 100 gets cancelled 98 minus 2 that means 96 percent therefore percent enantiomeric excess is 96 percent in exam the question ask define the enantiomeric excess or calculate the enantiomeric excess of the following reaction at that time we have to write the definition of enantiomeric excess the excess of one enantiomer over the other it is expressed as percentage of the whole okay thank you